Okay, are your friends getting in the way of your relationship? One of the most uh, challenging aspects of being a couple is figuring out how to balance uh, friends and a partner. It's an issue explored in a film, I Love You Man. It's starring Paul Rudd. Have a look. Were you spying on me? Yeah, I was. Because I'm totally weirded out about what's going on between you two. What are you talking about? We were just going over the set list. What's the big deal? The big deal is that we were supposed to have a date night and you took me to this concert, which is cool, but then we get there and it's like I don't even exist. You don't even look at me. You're you're licking Sydney's bass guitar. There were tons of guys that were licking each other's basses. I just... I feel like I'm losing you a little bit. Oh, okay. Well, advice this morning, balancing friends and the partners and a partner relationship psychologist, John Aiken. Good morning. Good morning, Carrie. Is that a sort of a familiar um, uh, scenario there? Yes, it is. You get two people that hook up and they start to uh, spend more time together and the friend doesn't kind of like what's going on and they start to get in the way. And uh, then you've got this battle to juggle the friend with the new partner. Mm. Actually, we've got 20 copies of uh, that video uh, of I Love You Man to give away. I'll tell you uh, how very shortly. Okay, well, let's look at the signs and perhaps at what stage um, this starts to uh, eat, etch into a relationship. Well, look, there's lots of signs that can go on when, when, when you find yourself in this situation. You, firstly, you, your friend, as they get left out, they, they, they feel like they want to spend more time with you, an exclusive time, to mm -hmm. keep the new partner on the side. Mm -hmm. uh, they also can become possessive and jealous, can put uh, your new partner down at times and, and, and constantly get in contact with you. And so you, you, you're essentially having this friend of yours really trying to battle for uh, quality time. For space and time. Yeah, that's right. And, and, that when, and what you'll find is that you constantly start talking about this battle with your new partner and you'll be uh, arguing and there'll be tension between the two of you because of this split time between the friend getting in the road and your new relationship. Um, is there a gender that is a bit more prone to this type of behaviour? No, I just think actually at the end of the day it, it comes down often to you know the friend and how attached they are to mm. the relationship that you've got you know and, and, and the time that you've spent together and the activities you've done and that history is basically going to influence whether they're going to let a new person in or not. Mm. Um, and I guess it depends whether that partner is also involved in a relationship. Yeah, good point, good point, you know, because if they are involved in another relationship, then, you know, they're going to have to spend time with their partner and so there'll be a bit more space involved. Mm. Another huge issue, what if your partner doesn't actually like your friends? Yes, well, that's a very difficult one mm. because what you'll tend to find is that uh, if you're really into this new partner, that you're going to start to side with them. Uh, because, you know, there's the romantic involvement and you get very swept up in it all. And, mm. and so uh, if you're a friend and you're on the receiving end of that, uh, my suggestion is that you, you need to try and get on board and, and embrace this new relationship. Mm. And it can be difficult because, you know, let's face it, people who perhaps go to school together, they went to university together, yeah. they've been friends, mates all this time, then the new relationship, the new partner comes in and you know, they want, they want to change the way of the world. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Look, I, I've been in a situation like that where someone that I've been going out with has had a, a close friendship there and when we first started seeing each other, there was three of us involved in the relationship and trying to put in place boundaries was kind of difficult early on, but over time we were able to manage it. And of course, with our deep-seated, long-standing friendships, we forgive a lot of um, silly things or dumb things people say because, oh, you know, that's just what they do. We've always accepted it, but your new partner's going, no, that's not acceptable. Yeah, that's right. And you've got to be careful of that because mm. you, you, you may end up just uh, getting into talking about history all the time and little in-jokes that you have with your yeah. friend. So given the fact it can be difficult, yeah. um, what do we do? Well, the first thing is you want to uh, talk with your partner about it. You know, how do we come up with a way to deal with this and, mm -hmm. and how you're finding it because they might be finding it quite difficult and then from there create a team approach how do you want to handle this as, as, as a team rather than separately hmm. and then uh, once you've just established that you then talk to your friend about it looking to give them some sort of new expectations about what has to change mm. Uh, and then putting those in place. But don't forget also, I think, which is very important, have some exclusive time with your friend as well. Mm -hmm. 
as well as spending time with your partner so they don't feel left out. Yeah, and discuss it. Once you've established there are a few boundaries there, you've got to go through with it. As always, John, I thank you. But don't forget this, um, this DVD, I Love You Man, uh, just go to the website and uh, there's some conditions on there about how to win one of those DVDs. I think you'll find it a, a bit of a laugh. John Aiken, good morning.